Hey guys, it's AD Video Editor, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a second iPhone battery as a backup battery. And in order to do this, you first need to um, unscrew some screws in your phone. So the first two you're going to unscrew are the two in the bottom right here, and this will be the same on any iPhone. I just happen to have an iPhone 4S, but iPhone 4, 5, um, anything will work. So first you need to make sure you have the proper screwdrivers to do this. You're going to need one, like a five-sided star screwdriver. You can't really tell that well from here, but that's what it is. And the second one you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver. And I bought these two in a whole kit. To have, um, I got these in this kit right here that I bought off of eBay for a couple bucks. And this kit is to, and this kit has all the tools necessary when you're opening up your phone. So first, let's get that five-sided screwdriver and unscrew the two screws at the bottom of your phone. Alright, and next, well actually, what we should have done first is make sure your phone is off. Of course, when your phone is dead, you won't have to worry about turning it off, luckily. But for this, whenever you open up the back of your phone, you want to turn it off. So after you turn it off, and then you unscrew the screws, and now the back of your phone will pop right off, so all you have to do is slide it up a little bit. You'll feel it unclick, and the back entirely just comes right off. Next, you're going to want to grab your Phillips head screwdriver and uninstall the two screws here and here. Okay. And now once you have all your screws off, make sure you set them aside in some place where you won't lose them. And so that's it with all the screws. And you'll notice that this little plate right here that we just took out the last screws from is connected to the battery right here. So if you get under it, it'll pop, the little plate here will pop right up. Right, so that pops up. Then you use this plastic peeler, lift it up and your battery comes right out. And so next, you put the you get out the second battery, and you can easily buy a, a secondary internal battery for any iPhone on eBay for just like five bucks maybe, maybe seven dollars, but it's really cheap. So I bought, this is the battery I got, and you notice it doesn't look exactly the same. That's because I bought this, because this says that it is more powerful than the other ba than the original iPhone battery, but I personally don't see a difference, so don't stress to find this exact battery right here. So all you need to do is take this section battery, snap it right in, and then make sure you click this metal plate in. You line it up, then it'll it'll snap right in, right, and then you'll see nothing's loose. Then all you can do, put the back on your phone on, slide it down so it locks in and turn your phone on, and that's it. So, by leaving the screws out, every time instead of unscrewing it, pop the back off, get the plate off, battery, other battery, and back, done. So it took me like 10-15 seconds to do the whole battery swap. And what's nice, these iPhone batteries are fairly small, so for someone like me, I can easily just stick it right in my wallet, and I have it with me all the time. So that's it on how to use a secondary iPhone battery as a backup battery. And so this is really convenient, if your phone dies, you can always just put the second battery in and it'll be fully charged. But, and you might want to keep note that you can only charge the secondary batteries when they're inside the phone, so you just might want to keep track of what's charged and what's not charged. So that was it for this tutorial. I hope you find this really useful, and especially that um, you know, don't have to worry as much of your phone dying. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Please continue to watch future tutorials, and I'll see you next time.